Hey guys, Elite Legionario here. Today I'll be bringing you a old replay of a two vs two I did on medieval. I'm sorry, two vs one I did on medieval two total war. And this time I'll be in command of one of my absolute favourites, the Byzantine Empire. Like I've said, they call the Holy Roman Empire for my first place slot. Um, I particularly like them though because they go right back to the, you know the Eastern Roman Empire and um, whatnot. Um, but I just like them as a general rule, but I like their style, I like their army build, their looks, everything's just cool about them, I like their positioning, I like their campaign, it's just all fun. So, um, I'll be facing off against two guys, um, Manoslan, Manoslan 06, I'm not saying that right, Mano Losan 06, there we go, i slow down. And um, again, I'll be up against Pike and Shot, who's the other guy, who was using pretty much exactly the same Sicilian army he used um, last game, where I, where I was Scotland with um, Neville. So um, my army consists of uh, five units of cataphracts. Um, it consists of three units of Byzantine, no, four units of Byzantine guard archers. It consists of five units of dismounted Latin con and uh, two units of Varangian Guard usually are pretty much a must in a Byzantine army, you just got to use them right um, yes that's my army and um, Pike and Shot's army like I said pretty much the same as that last battle I did with them a um, couple of Shibrilic Knights a um, so couple of Sword and Bucklers out here, he's got a front line of um, Pike Militia for pinning um, good, good army build, he's got a couple of dismounted Norman Knights over here um, more pipe militia and yeah he's using basically he's just using chivalric knights instead of Norman knights um, I would probably have gone with Norman knights still but he's just varying up he's also got um, one two three four five units of putties crossbowmen so he's just varying up his army a bit um, but Norman knights are better than chivalric knights I think pretty sure they are so um, Portugal goes with a similar build um, he's brought um, Avian Torres um, he's got several units of dismounted conquistadors, so um, they'll be a tough uh, unit to beat, as they are the toughest heavy infantry unit in the game. Um, uh, he's got some more some pipe militia as well. Uh, he has got um, it's a, a conquistador unit, a general's bodyguard for his general, obviously, and a knights of Santiago. So. Um, Basically, my plan here was to, um, well, actually, to be honest, in a long time, um, I think I was going to thin them out or see if I could split them up a bit, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time since I actually did this battle, and um, I haven't really reviewed the replay that much, so I can't really remember what I was actually planning on doing. Um, no doubt I had a plan. I'd never go into a battle without one. Um, I start the missile duel. Uh, forgot to take my fire arrows but I think what I was doing I was hoping to um, spread them out a bit, split them up, um, knock certain areas of the field out basically use my cavalry to destroy both sides of their flanks um, I think it was something along those lines, it's been a long time though um, basically just do uh, anything to um, split them up um, you know, wreck the cohesion once they've got the cavalry out I, I, noticed, I think what I noticed was that their cavalry um, were, they were their weakest asset, I think. Um, they had only a few cavalry units each. Um, they've only got about two or three cavalry each. Well, I've got five cavalry, plus because I'm on my own, I've got eight, twice as much money, so my cav cavalry had a lot more money um, spent on more upgrades. So I was hoping to knock his cav out of the game quickly. But I also got my Varangian guard going up to add support because I realise what will happen is I'll get um, stuck fighting his infantry. So, um... I see his cab out here isolated, so I'm going to charge it. Um, but I've got Varangian guards coming in to charge, so he's not going to be able to use his infantry support. Um, now, I'm going to rush up here. Um, I'm going to force them to, them to engage me in battle immediately. Uh, I've left some cab back to protect from um, these conquistadors. I'm just going to let my Byzantine guards actually charge into them. Um, they'll lose quite a few men. But um, that should destroy an extra cav unit. So um, if I can destroy his cavalry and move their cavalry from the game, um, I shouldn't have too much trouble. Now I'm going to sacrifice this end of cataphracts over here so that I can um, use my infantry to smash through his um, pike militia. By which point, um, 
uh, I'll have an easier job. But unfortunately, they don't really last that long. Um, over here, against the Portuguese player, um, things are going my way. Um, my Varangian guard were having trouble getting through those pikes, so I pulled them out. But um, everywhere else in the line, I'm breaking straight through them, which is really good. So here I've got another unit of Catapracts, which I'm going to use to um, in, uh, intercept them here. Um, my archers will, once they get back from running, um, will uh, do plenty of damage um, there. Now I'm behind his line with an extra unit of cavalry, so I'm going to uh, buckle it open if I can. So, um, there's the Sicilian general dead, so that's good. Um, um, basically, I used, um, once I was able to pull away from this uh, fight with the um, Portuguese player, I was going to go straight in and destroy his line. His men are far more deadly with those conquistadors, so I want to get them out of the picture. So over here, um, I was absolutely certain that my infantry were going to win the fight against these um, these pikes. These Norman knights could be a nuisance, but um, on the whole, they're not that big a deal. Um, again, my men can take more of a beating, more punishment, can last longer. And I've got free reign of the back of his army, of their army, so... Um, their bowmen are no longer, or crossbowmen are no longer of value. Um, again, I've still got cavalry out here dealing with any of his. Half the enemy force. Our men are under attack. We need to act. So I get a full charge on these silver and buckler, so um, that'll make that'll be easy going for my um, cataphracts. Um, they did quite a lot of damage in that charge. Um, but basically, you see, um, he went no, after my archers. Not... We have lost half of our men. So they went after my archers. That's not really. Um, that was not really a big deal. Um, they could have been useful against the pikes. Blooded. They have lost half their men. Oh, I'm just going to turn him down a bit, actually. Um, sorry, it's the wrong one. Sound options and put him down to about 35 because he's just interrupting me too much. Um, anyway, as you can see, um, my infantry are obviously going to win it. Um, but uh, basically, um, they went straight for my archers, um, which actually was served me quite well because it basically divided his. Um, um, gave me an easy what job against other cavalry units, so it was easy. See, so I'm going to get a full um, charge right into the back of the Sicilian Norman Knights. Um, that should kill them. Um, all the generals are now dead. So, um, as you can see, um, basically their numbers are. Um, I just can't be everywhere at once. But. Um, like I said, um, I wanted to get rid of their cavalry fast, and as you can see, it sealed me well. We need to act. Um, getting rid of their um, cavalry has served me well, because it's given me cavalry supremacy of the field, and as you can see, I've pretty much been able to rout most of the Portuguese and Sicilian infantry as a result. Um, there's still a few units out there, though, that are proving a bit of a nuisance. Um, and because they've got uh, pikes, they have to play it carefully. But I've still got some infantry units which can engage the pikes, and they can just flank them. So, um, they were pretty content to go after my archers, or at least um, the Portuguese player was, but it didn't really matter. Okay, I lost a lot of archers, and I'm going to lose some more because of this unit up here, but it doesn't matter. I do see it. I'm going to bring this infantry unit. They'll probably get destroyed, though, because infantry units are not so great against um, cavalry units, but I'm going to hopefully weaken them enough. So over here, um, I'm winning this particular battle. So basically, Pike and Shot, I've defeated him, and the Portuguese player, probably because of his um, Contestadors have proven tough, they were able to hold on to my, hold back my Latin con long enough, and my Varangian guard, in conjunction with his Pikes. So here I'm going to destroy his um, Conquistador Cav. But um, I've beaten Pike and Shot, and pretty much I've nearly defeated um, Portuguese player uh, um, I'll just call him Mano Lawson. Um, I managed to defeat him pretty good, or well, close enough. Um, there's a few, there's a Sicilian um, chivalric knight hanging around the place, but um, by this point I felt like I probably could have won it. Um, but I, I think it just sort of slightly turns off and it goes against me in a moment. And a few of these Pavi's crossbowmen things have um, regrouped, but. Um, for the most part, I've destroyed their main forces, um, and I'm destroying a lot of their um, other units. But uh, my cavalry gets snagged up here on his um, pike, so I don't want that to stay in there. And I do believe I pull out. Yeah, I'm going to pull out of that. Um, at least I'm trying to, but units are not moving very well. I'm not sure why. 
But as you can see, this has come completely down to the wire. Um, both sides have lost well into the 80. Look at that. I've lost 86%. They've lost 83. So um, my upgrades have worked well. But um, basically, uh, I think I, I think I had a pretty good strategy. Um, because they were working together so closely, it meant I had... Um, we must act now! Working together so closely, it meant I had I was going to have real trouble. Um, I couldn't really divide them up, which is what I hoped to do in the first place. But um, because they worked together so closely and supported each other, this was really hard. But um, I lost my archers, but they proved useful because they drew away some of Portugal's cavalry, and I was easily able to bash through his cavalry and then um, go around and hammer an anvil a whole heap with my own cavalry. We must act now. Um, and of course, I only needed a couple of units to beat these. Um, Sicilian pipe, Milsha pipe But by this point, um, I have just basically kicked the bucket um, uh, because my forces have uh, been defeated. But um, I thought it was a pretty good battle. Um, um, but when I did this, I had, I had a lot of experience on Medieval 2. Our enemies have snatched victory from us like thieves in the night. So, so yeah, I mean, I didn't have a heap of experience with it, so I was pretty pleased with it. Um, as you can see, um, I mean, obviously they had a lot more men than me, but I had better upgrades, but um, I got a lot of kills, so that's for sure. Um, I, I, I figure, like, you know, Mano Slan's, uh, Mano, you know, his army, Portugal's army, was probably the harder army because of those, poor, um, those conquistadors. They were strong enough to hold in there and fight off my own infantry, um, uh, but I had pretty much cab dominance of the field. Um, as you can see, my cataphracts got a ton of kills and they caught a lot of men. Well, two of them caught quite a few men. Um, my Latin cons, they did very good as well, actually. Um, a lot of kills. Varangian guard, um, they didn't do that great, actually, but that's because they are against pikes and um, they didn't really get much of a charge. And plus, two handed units in this game, there's, in the original, is a bit of a glitch there. So, my guard archers, um, they became the target of the Conquistador unit, and I really couldn't do much to protect them, to be honest, because I needed my cab everywhere else. So, um, but they proved, I suppose, a useful um, deterrent in that his um, cab were away from the other more important areas of the field. Um, only one of them really did any good um, before being destroyed. I managed to protect them, sort of, but at the same time I was able to destroy the unit that was um, destroying them. So it was kind of a useful trade-off. Um, my Cataphractoi and Dismounted Lat Latincon were the most successful units. So anyway, good game to Pike and Shot and Mano Loson 06. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.